I mean, this industry in, uh, survives on inno innovation, uh, the ability to take what's already there and innovate it and make it better, either better appearing, better performance, and creativity. Uh, again, taking, you know, if you take this industry, everything that we produce is what we call for the want generation. You don't need anything that basically SEMA members produce. You need it, or you mean you want it. Uh, you want a set of wheels for your car. Cars come with wheels. You want better tires, you want a fuel injection system, you want a turbocharger, you want a uh, supercharger, you want ch super chips, uh, products for the uh, engine, you want cams, you want valves, you want uh, dress up items, you want, you know, you name it, wings, uh, ground effects kits. None of these things do we, you really need, you want them. And that defines our industry. We are in the want sector of the automotive aftermarket. You want what we make. Uh, the best advice I could give to them is to talk as many to as many of their peer group as they possibly can to learn how the industry works. It's a big industry and yet it's a small industry. Uh, everybody knows each other. Uh, so having the, the ability to connect, uh, to network at the various association functions is a critical aspect. And then obviously you have to have a product uh, that people want. Uh, you know, and if you that's probably the very first thing to do, is develop a product that people want. Then you're gonna to have to figure out how to market it and how to go to market it, and that's where your networking comes in. I mean, you go to any SEMA event, uh, even the tonight's installation banquet, it's just loaded with people who've already done it. They've been there, done that, and they know how. Uh, get a chance to talk to these people. It's amazing how much information you can pick up through networking.